Are you home? No, I'm spending the night at my boyfriend's house. Why? You have a boyfriend. You never told me that. He must really like your personality. Did you need something? I was hoping you would be home. Fred and I got in a huge fight and he locked me out of the house. I was hoping I could stay at your house until morning. Call the cops and have them get you back inside of your house. I don't want to get the cops involved. We both said things we didn't mean and did things we will regret. We just need to time cool off. That's why I was hoping to crash here, but you aren't here. It's cold, but I should be fine outside. I'll sleep on my back porch. It's fine. There's a key under the mat. I'll be so tell me about this boyfriend. Are you serious? When do I get to meet him? I mean, we've been together for a while now. I guess we are serious. Well, do I get to meet him? I guess you will soon. I wasn't going to tell anyone yet, but we found out that I am pregnant. It's really early though, so we aren't saying anything until I get to 12 weeks just in case. Oh honey, you're still so young. Are you sure you're ready to be a mom? You have no idea how hard it is. Trust me, having kids is not easy. Yes, I'm sure. We're excited. Just please don't say anything until we announce. I would never. How much longer until I can tell people I'm going to be a grandmother? I lost the baby yesterday. I was 8.5 weeks. We aren't saying anything. Are you sure you lost the baby? Sometimes they can't find the heartbeat that young. Yes, I'm sure, the doctor confirmed it. Well, I'm sorry, but if that is God's plan then there's nothing anyone could have done to stop it. That doesn't help. I'm just saying. It's probably for the best that this happened. I told you that you were probably too young to handle this. Now you can take time to get older and more stable. Thanks, Mom. So glad you're so compassionate. I'm just being honest. It'll be for the best. One in four women suffer from miscarriage and pregnancy loss. You never know who will be affected by this. It breaks my heart to know that I could have been a grandmother in just a few short months, and it was ripped away from me for no reason. I have always dreamed about the day I would become a grandmother and get to spoil another baby rotten. While it was a shock to learn my little girl was going to be a mom, we were so excited to welcome a new life into our family. Little baby, just know that I will keep your memory alive until we meet one day in heaven. I am the grandmother of an angel baby, and you will always be my first grandbaby. Please keep me and my daughter in your prayers as we grieve and heal from this tragedy. God, we know this is all in your hands, and we praise you through the pain. Please delete the post you made about me having a miscarriage. I didn't want to tell anyone. Especially not so soon. Why would you want to keep it a secret? Plenty of women have miscarriages. I'm not ready for the world to know. It just happened, and you posted about it less than a day later. Well, I'm sorry, but the world already knows. Didn't you see how many people were commenting and liking the post? That should make you feel good. People care. Just delete it. You don't have a right to post about my miscarriage like that. It's not some pity post you can use for attention. No, I'm allowed to grieve however I want. You aren't the only one who is hurting about this. I lost my grandbaby. If posting helps me grieve then that's what I will do. I went by your place because me and your stepdad are fighting again.
and you aren't home. The place seems empty. What's going on? I moved. You moved. Did you move in with your boyfriend or something? No, we broke up. I needed to get away from where I was, and I just needed space. So I moved. Okay, but you could have told me. You know how much I worry about you. A daughter never needs space like that from their mom. I needed space from everyone, not just you. Well, where am I supposed to stay tonight? I can't go back home, or else that's like saying he wins. Do you think anyone would know if I got into your old place and just crashed here? I don't know, Mom. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You really couldn't have picked a worse time to go and move. I couldn't handle your stepdad anymore without a break from his nagging and whining, so I ended up kicking him out. Good riddance. But I could. Have used some support from my daughter during all this. Sorry to hear that. I'm sure it's for the best, though. Oh, it is. I should have kicked him to the curb years ago. All he did was drag me down, and I already met this amazing new guy named Brent. I can't wait for you to meet him. He's the best. Don't you think you should take a break before a new relationship? Normally, yes, but I swear it's like Brent and I are meant to be. We work so good together. He's who I should have been with this whole time. You'll see once you meet him. I saw on Facebook that cute guy is commenting on your pictures. Are you dating him? We're just talking right now. Nothing serious. You need to snatch him up. Attractive. Good job. Looks like he comes from money. Honey, I love you, but he's a once in a lifetime catch for you. You really can't do better than him. Thanks, mom. We will see where it goes. I'm saying this because I care. I know you've been upset since the miscarriage, but you've really let yourself go. Maybe he can give you some inspiration to get back in the gym and get yourself back in shape. And just some advice, but I wouldn't tell him about the miscarriage. He may not want to waste his time on someone who might not be able to give him children. It would be best to just keep that to yourself until you two are married.